Hello, Biomimicry Taiwan. Huge congratulations for completing the first five years of the network. I can tell you, you guys have been such an inspiration for us in Singapore because you were one of the first few networks out there in Asia setting benchmark for what we can do, what we should do. And boy, you guys have come a long way. I am amazed by how you have managed to integrate uh, industry, academia and practitioners. So kudos for that. I am standing here uh, in Singapore uh, next to a park uh, and a tropical forest. So can't help but imagine uh, the possibilities out there uh, to emulate nature and bring uh, to challenges uh, in Asia. Uh, Taiwan and Singapore, we've already had very productive conversations uh, and I really, really look forward to uh, tackling the big problems in Asia together. Let's make it happen and congratulations again. Happy birthday by Rufi Taiwan. Happy birthday, Biomimicry Taiwan! Cheers from Oslo, Norway! Van harte gefeliciteerd! Happy 5th anniversary, Biomimicry Taiwan! All the best from the Netherlands, from Biomimicry NL and Interface! Happy birthday, Biomimicry Taiwan! This is Rebecca Carlson calling in from the Biomimicry Institute in Kira. And we just wanted to say that we're so excited to see what you've done over the last five years and can't wait to partner with you on the Global Design Challenge and see what the next five bring. Hi, Biomimicry Taiwan from Montana. Uh, it's been almost five years since I've been there. It, it takes more than uh, just getting excited about biomimicry. What you've done and what's so important is that you've created a network. Um, that's what nature would do. You've given people a place to connect with one another. Uh, you're, you're expanding the discipline, exploring the discipline, pushing the boundaries of the discipline, and we thank you for that. Uh, we're excited to be your uh, Biomimicry Design Challenge partner uh, this year, and um, well-deserved. You've had I think 500 participants and 130 teams, which is amazing in your own design challenges. So we can't wait to see what the entrepreneurial biomimics bio from Taiwan come up with. Um, I often judge those, so I'll really be looking for Taiwan's entries. I also want to thank um, the members um, that have stepped up. Um, you have an incredible diversity, which is also something nature would do. Uh, everything from universities, anchors, to um, companies, to individuals interested in communicating the meme. You, you have the, the education to research to commercialization uh, pathway, which is so important for having biomimicry embedded in the way we, we invent everything. So I'm looking forward to hearing what happens at the salon today. Uh, structural color is one of my favorite topics. Um, I've got actually peacock feathers all over my house um, because I, I love their structural color. Um, I honestly think that if the fashion industry were to have access to a structurally colored fiber uh, and begin to use it, um, we would have the ability to uh, upcycle our garments and simply change the structure of those fibers uh, to create a new color, whether at the end of its life or even while we still own the garment. Imagine sending it back and having a couple of years with a completely different color on a garment you really love. Um, that would be amazing. So I'm looking forward to uh, hearing how, how it goes today, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting back. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy your birthday party. Happy birthday, Taiwan.